Hi there, I'm Dr. Mahesh Trunaukar. So I'm so glad to see you all back in this video again. Uh, this is going to be one of the most important uh, uh, update video on uh, coronavirus COVID-19. Uh, previously, we have talked about um, one of the medications uh, that came out in the market, uh, Favipiravir. And um, in this video, we are going to be talking about what are the treatment options we have for uh, COVID patients, mildly to uh, sick or moderate patients, and um, what, what kind of medica medications we have, and what is the current status of vaccine development at this point in time. Okay, this is what we are going to be talking about in this video. Please, uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and kindly do leave a uh, like or comment if you feel okay with this video, okay? Or then it's going to be a big boost for me in future so that you will get my videos uh, as soon as possible. All right. So, what are the treatment options we have for current uh, uh, corona patients? I mean, COVID-19 uh, infected patients. We all know that uh, in you know last video I mentioned about the Favipiravir, uh, the uh, Glenmark uh, pharmaceutical company. Uh, they came up with the medications. So that's not a new medication. That's uh, one of the uh, medications that uh, that has already been in use. And uh, recently, that a pharma company claimed that uh, that medication is doing very well on COVID-19 patients. And, uh, and of course, uh, some of the patients, um, you know, uh, almost. 85 to 90 percent of patients are, uh, are doing very well by you now after after they get that medications so and what are the other medications uh, for COVID-19 patients uh, that's not the only uh, favipiravir we have in use uh, you know uh, since this COVID-19 started um, you know we have helped many countries by supplying with the medications uh, uh, hydroxychloroquine that's uh, that's what the medication we started to uh, use you know in first phase but the other medications such as uh, uh, remdesivir, that is, uh, uh, that's again a uh, antiviral medications. That's medications um, comes from the U.S. based pharmaceutical company. Uh, this remdesivir uh, medications, uh, uh, it's a IV medication. It's not an oral medication. It is an IV medication. Uh, it is given to patients um, who are. Um, mild to moderate or severe patients or uh, extremely sick patients uh, uh, who need uh, who needs a uh, medications uh, to be given in the blood vessels okay to to um, to fight this uh, cytokine storm this favipiravir medication that i already told you that medications uh, can be given to patients uh, for covid patients mild to moderate patients uh, and uh, after these medications uh, uh, patients uh, you know really start doing very well by uh, fourth day or fifth day that's what uh, the research studies uh, claimed next to this uh, remdesivir and favipiravir what we have uh, you know in house is that dexamethasone uh, a week ago uh, a week, i mean this oxford pharma company they said that uh, um, dexamethasone uh, uh, shows a really really a great improvement uh, in patients who are admitted to the ICU with extremely uh, you know uh, extremely critical conditions so mild moderate severe when I when I say mild moderate severe the uh, level of symptoms uh, varies uh, in you know for example in mild in mild COVID patients uh, they may have uh, just a fever or body pain uh, and a mild very mild shortness of breath but in a moderate uh, COVID-19 patients, um, in addition to fever uh, and body pain, they may also have a, a mild shortness of breath and a cough and uh, with that, uh, that needs hospitalization. And in severe uh, uh, COVID-19 patients, uh, they'll be having a poor oxygenation because of uh, uh, because of uh, shortness of breath. Uh, they don't get enough oxygen into the lungs. You have to get oxygen into the lungs uh, to get the oxygen out of the lungs to the other parts of the body and each and every cells each and every cell in your body all right so this is what mild moderate and severe this favipiravir medication is okay in patients with mild to moderate and this remdesivir this is an intravenous medication uh, that, that has to be given by you know in, in the intravenous in the venous system and this medication is uh, okay for good for patients um, who are admitted to the hospitals uh, who needs a uh, uh, more uh, more excessive treatment um, because this uh, has to be given in the blood vessels right and the dexamethasone dexamethasone is a steroid basically steroids are uh, uh, reduces inflammation what happens in a COVID-19 patients uh, because of the cytokine storm our body gets gets into our, our liver suffers injury from uh, inflammation and this uh, dexamethasone can be given um, in the blood into the blood vessels or by taken by mouth as well 
all right so this dexamethasone uh, reduces inflammation and thereby improves the uh, improves the outcome of the patient okay so favipiravir and then a remedy is for dexamethasone and uh, we have also have this hydroxychloroquine hydroxychloroquine is basically anti-malarial drug it comes under the category of a demod drug we call it huh? is a, is a anti malarial drug and um, in the in the past like in the two when this medication was introduced as a prophylactic drug for covid um, this was just a prophylactic drug and uh, it's currently being used you uh, know in, in some uh, in countries uh, to uh, to to eradicate or to combat this uh, covid 19 virus and in addition to this um, uh, you know all these medications favipiravir uh, remdesivir and uh, dexamethasone hydroxychloroquine uh, we have also have this uh, uh, convalescent plasma therapy CPT convalescent plasma therapy means if someone is uh, uh, getting uh, COVID-19 uh, disease COVID-19 infection and gets admitted to a hospital and gets uh, recovered and goes home right the patients who recovers they will have a developed antibodies to this virus so what our doctors do what our researchers do they take a plasma from this patient okay because this person has got uh, good antibodies to uh, fight this virus so the doctors uh, take the plasma from this recovered patient and save it in a in an appropriate way and this plasma is given to another patient who is infected with covid-19 it's not getting well or is is uh, is getting into serious uh, condition or critically ill condition uh, this plasma is given to that patient uh, whoever is in the critical stage to, uh, to fight coronavirus because this recovered patient has already produced enough uh, good antibodies against this virus so this plasma is given to that patient and hoping that uh, you know that patient will come out of that infection recently one of the health ministers uh, was given the same uh, convalescent plasma therapy so these are the uh, different modalities of uh, treatment we have at present and when it comes to the vaccine finally we all need vaccines we, know we don't want our treatments like um, by mouth or by blood uh, into the blood uh, venous system right we all want vaccine that can uh, completely eradicate this covid-19 virus uh, out of this whole world or this universe Many countries are in, are in this race. Uh, who is going to develop uh, uh, co vaccine for coronavirus, vaccine for COVID-19? And, uh, you know, many countries are in like phase one, phase two. But this um, uh, UK-based Oxford, uh, this AstraZeneca pharma company uh, are already in, uh, are, are into this uh, phase two. Probably they're going to be starting their phase three uh, by July. Uh, so, and usually what happens is uh, uh, if any co any pharma uh, company wants to make a, a vaccine for any virus diseases, they usually it usually takes about like two to ten years. That's a usual period of time to develop uh, any vaccine for any disease, viral diseases. But uh, for this coronavirus, uh, our pharma companies are trying hard, uh, you know, working day and night uh, to produce, uh, to, uh, to invent this vaccine, to fight, this, uh, to fight against this corona. And uh, so, uh, so this, this time period is essentially, we cannot just skip this time because uh, this, uh, the, uh, the AstraZeneca uh, pharma, pharmaceutical company, now it's in a uh, phase two, right? Now they're going to go into the phase three by July, and uh, after that maybe it may take another three to four months. So if if things go well, so probably we all hope uh, we are going to get this vaccine by December or somewhere, some sometime around this, right? Okay, this is what this is what uh, we all uh, uh, praying to God for, like you know, just give us a you know correct uh, treatment or correct vaccine so that we can all we all can eradicate, eradicate this virus and get this virus away from this universe we all uh, live happily again so this is, this is a vaccine status for each country like you know this uh, AstraZeneca and next thing, next company is a modern uh, uh, this is US based uh, company now currently they are in a phase two uh, probably they will also be coming up with a vaccine uh, hopefully by the end of this year or uh, earlier next year and uh, early next year all right and uh, so please stay safe and um, you know this has uh, this coronavirus has gone so wild in it has uh, gone up to like uh, six lakhs uh, so crossing six lakhs in india now so stay safe and um, stay healthy heed healthy as well all right then i'll see you in my next video with a good topic until then bye bye stay safe okay bye